Hi guys and welcome to Dark Souls 2. This is going to be a new LP as well as a rebirth to the channel. For a while now I've been wanting to do uh, a new series as well as start the channel th uh, fresh. Uh, thanks to a guy called Killer, uh, Killader11. He actually came up to me and asked if I wanted some uh, new pictures for my channel uh, banner and DP. And he did it amazingly. I mean I love the work he's just done and it looks great. And I'm dedicating this episode to him. His channel will be in the description if you want to contact him for anything to do with your channel as well as anything else, I guess. Uh, and I'm also going to be naming my character after him in this series. I actually plan to do the whole game, everything I can. I'm also going to be doing the DLC when it comes out, but I'm also going to be quiet right now Perhaps and I'll explain more after the cutscene, so I'll be quiet. So. Maybe in a Enjoy. dream, a murky, forgotten land. A place where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded the symbol of the curse, an augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning, and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. Is your fate the fate of the cursed? Right, awesome. So this is going to be Dark Souls 2, obviously. 
It is a good game. I've played it a couple of times. Uh, I've completed it about twice, so I kind of know what I'm doing, so I'm not going to be lost, even though it's pretty hard to get lost in Dark Souls 2 compared to the first game. Um, I'd have to say Dark Souls 2 is a lot easier compared to the first game, but it's still pretty challenging, and I will probably have trouble in some areas, so it's not going to be a straightforward, uh, forward, easy run through. I'm still going to have uh, challenges, so be prepared for that. And I will rage quite a lot, but this is Things Betwixt. This is an awesome place, even though you kind of just like see it once and then never come back to that location again. Right, let's go forward. So I'm playing this on the PC, as you can probably tell. Um, apart from that, I'm, that's really it, to be honest. Right, so let's go up here. And this is uh, the first place where we can create our character. Is there something? We can get... Actually, let's explore this area first before we even go anywhere. We could try... I could try... No, I don't think I'm going to try just yet. Actually, I've never really tried it. Let's try fighting this guy with just fists, right? We start the game. Hang on, I didn't even hit him. There we go. 14 damage. Whoa. Okay, yep. Yep, yep, yep. This guy's a bit pissed off. I don't even want to attempt this guy. Oh, hang on. Let's... Let's give it a go. Oh, nope. That's death. Hup, well, he's definitely not a, not a guy you want to try and fight first. <laughs> well. Uh, <laughs> right, let's uh, go create our character, I guess, instead of dying. Um, <laughs> oh, man, that was, that was... I didn't even know that would happen, to be honest. Well, I did. I know I was going to die. That thing's tough at the beginning of the game. Even still, I still have trouble with those guys later on. Alright, let's uh, go into this house up here. There is something you can get. And probably people know about this game a lot. Is that the item down there? Also, this is no... in any way means a, an in-depth walkthrough of the game. It's just kind of from the start to finish, I guess, doing everything. Um, but I'm not I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try and do it pretty well, but uh, not as great as, as great as most people have done it when they've completed this game several hundred times and they know what the hell everything does. <laughs> what seems to be the rackets? Oh my, your face, the face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes, you'll become one of them. Hollows prey upon them, feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> I will seriously slap all of these. <laughs> Laughing at me like that, how dare they? What is your name? My name! Alright, let's put this awesome name in, shall we? There we go. I'm pretty sure that's right. Yep, that's right. Killida11. Yes, that is my name. <laughs> At least you know your own name. Oh, thank you. I prepared it long ago. Here's your reward for sharing. Oh, a squeaky effigy. toy. No, human effigy. <laughs> Those things look pretty cool. Look. Who do you think it's supposed to be? Is it me? I bet it's me. Back deep into your past. Me. Yes. It's an effigy of you. Yay! <laughs> God, talking to me like I'm a little child. Thanks a lot. Right. Um, hopefully he won't mind, but I'm gonna try and make this guy look pretty funny. Can I like, uh... Is there a random? There should... Is there a random? There's a random for the face. I'm gonna try... Whoa, that, that one's solid. That is... Uh, can I like even random that? Oh my god, oh, okay. Wait, there, there... Uh, 
I, do, uh, I don't know what to pick. There's so many. Hang on, let's keep them random until we can fight. Oh, no. Uh, okay, that, that's a contender. I might go for that. That's actually... No, oh, no, it's getting it's getting better. I've got to, I've got to go for that. That one's amazing. All right, tattoos. Do we want? We'll go for that. I mean, that's something. That's not something you want, really, is it? Let's make that thing like dark. Does that? Yeah, it's making it dark. Right. Can we have two of these and just give him like? <laughs> okay. Right. There must be a way to move this tattoo, right? I'm pretty sure you can move the tattoo. I think there's a way. Yes! I j oh god, this is going to be great. Oh, I didn't even accept it. Son of a... Just a... There we go. Accept that. And just... Hang on. Yes. Yes. Can I... Yes! Yes! <laughs> Oh, that that is, that is, yes, he is, he is ready. <laughs> Let's actually uh, change the hair, though. Um, yes, I I'll go for that. Shall we change the hair? Yes, I think we will. Yes, it matches slightly. Actually, wait, can we make it? match like well I think that's I think that's the closest we're gonna get uh, let's see eyebrows how big can we make them okay yes okay this this is going great um yellow I think yeah <laughs> this guy this guy oh yes the beard We've got to have that in there. We'll make that yellow as well. I, th I I don't think I can... Let's move the mouse. That's going to be there constantly. That... That is a masterpiece. That is... Whew, okay. Yeah, he's ready. Hang on. No, he's not. Physique. No, we don't want to make him too muscular. Can, can we make... Let's go for... There's no, is there no one with a big head? Like in the first game? Yes. Give him a, a massive head. Right. Class, we will go as the knight. I'm going to play this how I want. I usually play as a warrior. Um, I feel a lot more comfortable using a sword than anything like magic. I will try maybe to use magic. I don't know. Um, but I will definitely go for a knight. Uh, let's go for healing waves because I don't want to just like completely die at the beginning of the game and it helps so why not is this this is my true self it's not even my final form and i think it's amazing they they truly <laughs> underestimate the powers that my guy has right now I am very disappointed in these people. I may end up killing them in the future. I have no idea. Get through the door and trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Right, thank you very much. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. Oh, come on. You lose your souls. I don't want a close-up of her lips, please. That was not nice. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. So these women need to die eventually. So maybe in the future. I don't know. But, oh yes. It's even better in-game. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Right, <laughs> let's go upstairs, shall we? And we'll uh, acquire this early chest which has a human effigy in it which is really helpful so we'll uh, roll down here and we will embark on our journey all right let's 
sit at this bonfire as well, because it's obviously helpful. Um, I don't think I actually need to sit at it. We'll just light the... Oh, wait, nope, nope, not even done. There we go. And we'll get Soul of the Lost Undead and a torch. Um... Oh, oh no, I'm, mm, maybe. I was thinking about showing off the torch. But people probably already know. If you don't know, I'll, I'll actually I'll use the torch. Right, we'll talk of the torch. I don't use the torch that much, and I think I might as well use it, even though I haven't got a shield on me. So, I might as well, I might as well make everything look pretty. And I'll light this. I'm gonna light this thing here. I'm actually not gonna do all of the tutorial. I'm only gonna be doing two parts. Uh, two parts I want to do anyway. There's one part that I really don't care for. I mean, you can get more souls, but why would you want to do that? <laughs> right, let's kill these guys. These guys are pretty easy for the start of the game because this is a tutorial level. And obviously, things have got to be easy to show, like, you know, you're not going to die straight away. So, let's go over here. See those guys. Let's try and backstab this guy. Oh, my shadow's moving. I wonder why. Oh, there's a guy behind me. And he looks fabulous. So that's the place that we're going to be going to later on. Uh, that's the other tutorial part. Let's climb up here. I brought the torch out for nothing, but I think it looks really nice. Um, I think because this place is kind of dark, and hopefully it's not as dark on YouTube, because usually YouTube makes everything look like it's in a cave. And ow, thank you, Archer. I never seem to be able to dodge that guy. I don't know why. I've probably done this tutorial like... Three, four times now, and every time I just always get hit by the guy, so I think it's payback, I guess, for just me killing him in every single time I go through here. Oh, it's this area as well. Can I dodge this guy? Yes. Oh, wow. I actually dodged an arrow for once. Maybe not that, though. There we go. He's dead now. Fool. Right, let's pick this up. Life gem. I've got 20 of them, but okay. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have picked up the life. Ah, well. It'll help out in, in the future. Right, so this is the thing I wanted to unlock, which is like... I'm not sure what their names are. I can't remember. I know they have a specific name. But they want you to give you... Uh, want to give Smooth and Silky Zones for later on in the game. Uh, we'll come across them later on as we go through this uh, game. But uh, you can leave them in the nest and they'll give you stuff for them. It's kind of like a trade thing. This, I'll shred it off later when I get some things to trade. But uh, for now we don't have anything. So we'll just move that along. And that's one part of the tutorial that I want to unlock because I will be going back. And this is the second part because I want to. Because maybe I, I might feel like doing something later on that, you know, I might want to become a girl. And I'll uh, tell you the reason why. I'm actually going to heal here because uh, every time I seem to do this area, I always, like, just die nearly. Which is weird because it's the tutorial and I shouldn't suck at the tutorial. It's that bloody archer, man! Dude, like, I had to deal with one guy down there, and I've got some guy trying to shoot arrows in my ass. That's not nice. Dude, I hit you first. Suck on that. Right. <laughs> Let's go through this fog gate. And this unlocks... Hang on, once I kill this guy, I can kind of explain. This unlocks to go down there. Basically, after killing that guy there, later on, I'm not going to try and attempt it now. And there's a guy down there as well, hiding behind the rocks. They guard a little sarcophagus over there on the uh, beach, beachy area, the little beach. That sarcophagus or thing, I'm pretty sure it's a sarcophagus or whatever, that when you sit, uh, well, when you lie in it, it will actually change your gender. So I could become a girl later on if I feel like it. So Killida11 could actually be a girl in the future. You never know. Could be a change. I don't know. Right, now we're done with the tutorial. I'm not going to be doing anything else. Uh, because that other way is kind of pointless in my eyes, and I I only did it once, which was when I first played this game, so I don't think I'll ever do it again. Um, and let's just go through this little cave. I've only got one minute left on the torch, and I can put it out now. Now that we're in Majula! Majula! So there's two things I want to show you guys first. Uh, this item down here, which will be a Divine Blessing, which heals you and cures you of any stat ailments uh, and they're really rare and hard to come by and it's really nice just to have one at the start of the game also down here is a little secret treasure kind of thing which I didn't know about for the longest time and it is a morning star and a cleric sacred chime so I could become kind of like a cleric in the future you never know 
This is also a binoculars. This guy clearly had a fatal accident trying to look out into the ocean. Beautiful. But he slipped and fell to his death. Anyway, let's continue on. Let's first, but before talking to her, light the bonfire. Which is always a handy thing to do whenever you go out exploring in Dark Souls. Acquire this item over here, which I actually can't remember what the hell it is. I think it's souls. It might be souls. Don't quote me. No, it's life, Gem. See, if you quoted me, you would have looked like a fool. And we also want to get this thing over here, which will be useful in just a second after hitting that rock. On his crotch is an Estus Flash Shard, which is always helpful. And we will find out what that does in a second. And let's traverse this town. So this is Medulla. This is kind of like the hub world. It's very nice. You'll be coming here a lot. If you're playing this along with me, good luck. <laughs> and uh, welcome to Dark Souls, I guess. Right. Let's talk to this lady. We can find out who she is. Are you the next monarch? With this face, yes. Or merely a pawn of fate? No, the next monarch, clearly. The of the curse. Only a true king can have this face. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Oh, I thank you. Take this with you. Ooh. May it ease your journey. Right, so she's given us one Estus flask. Go on and see the king. And then she talks more about the king. He who probably. made Drang Lake what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendrick. Vendrick. You may level up by the powers of the Emerald Herald. So this lady is the Emerald Herald. Unlike the first game, if everyone's played the first game probably. You could level up at a bonfire, but in this one, you can only level up by talking to her. Of the curse. Seek misery. So she's kind of like a firekeeper in a sense. You to um, stronger once soul. I show you what she does after you will never she meet talks more. With a soul so, frail and pallid. Seek those so she's dissing me already. Utterable. Lovely. It's a great star. Endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me. Why, thank you. So that hope will not fade away. Okay, right. Is that so she child? told us to uh, go find the four souls of Here, great power, which are the four kind of bosses so that, that we need to fight. You. So she's talking about the Estus Shard Flask, like, uh, Estus Flask Shard now. Uh, once she uh, finishes. So here we go, we can upgrade our Estus Flask. Unlike the original, uh, in when you upgrade, it just gives you an extra Estus Flask, uh, which is awesome kind of thing. So in this, unlike the first game as well, you only start off with one, which I'll uh, gladly swap round. There we go. So we've got two Estus Flasks now, which is great, and she also levels us up. We don't need to talk to her anymore. Uh, the next place... Um, I want to actually want to go over here quickly and grab this, which is a soul of a nameless soldier and a life gem again. So, I'm actually going to end today's episode right here. So, thank you for watching. Click the annotation in the top right to watch the next video when it comes out. Also, subscribe to see more videos. And as always, see you in the next video, guys.